Hello and welcome. Today we are going to unbox and assemble this Totem Osprey electric assist bike. You know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. We appreciate it. There is a link or two in the video description below taking you to Totem's website and to Amazon to see more information on this bike and to purchase it if you wish. Once you have everything out of the large box, grab a pair of scissors and start cutting away all of the protective layers. There are a lot of them. It'll take a few minutes here. But it does come well protected, which is good because that way there's no damage in shipping. We didn't see any damage, no nicks, no scratches, or anything like that. So we're very happy with the condition in which this arrived. There was a rubber band there holding the handlebars to the fork, but otherwise it's mostly tape and zip ties that are holding the protective layers on. Quick tip on the plastic is to bunch it up, work the scissors through and cut. Careful that the scissors don't scratch the frame on the way through. You have the seat post and the seat. You have the small box with some tools and supplies, including this Allen wrench, which is our first step in assembly. We're gonna remove this cover, which holds the handlebars in place, but first it needs to come all the way off. When you get the handlebars and this video portion was taken later in the assembly, but you want to angle it to the angle that you like for your hands to go on the brakes and the gear shifters, etc. So angle it the way you like the first time so you don't have to do it a second time like we did. Uh, when you achieve that angle that you like, then put that cover back on and put the screws in place. The pattern for putting the screws in and tightening them up is first to start in the upper left, then go to the bottom right then go to the upper right, then go to the bottom left, like making the letter X. Once that is in place, your next step is to remove uh, that plastic piece that is just there as a protection to the fork. Next, go ahead and grab the wheel and remove those couple of black plastic covers. Next, grab the quick release out of the small brown box. You want to spin off that nut there and take the spring off that's on its same side. Work the quick release in. Notice the direction of the wheel and that metal brake wheel. Work the quick release through, put the spring back on, and spin that nut back on and into place. The bike is uh, right side up right now, uh, which is the way the instructions suggest to uh, assemble it and to put this wheel on with the bike uh, in the upright position, but we're going to show you a different way. We actually liked it better putting the bike upside down first before putting that front wheel on. So uh, give that a try if you are having a hard time with the bike being upright. Uh, we thought this was just easier. The bike didn't fall over, uh, but do notice where the fork goes in relation to the quick release, notice the side that the uh, brake disc there goes on uh, relative to the bike. Uh, and go ahead and set that quick release to the proper tightness. Turn that lever down towards the frame, and we're ready to move on to the next step. Next are the pedals. Go ahead and grab those along with the wrench tool that's part of the Allen wrench set. Notice that the left pedal goes on in a counterclockwise tightening direction. The right pedal is normal, it's the clockwise tightening direction with that wrench. Notice where the wrench grabs onto, that's the part that needs to be tightened. Once those are in place, go ahead and put the bike back to its upright position and the kickstand is already on, which is really convenient. Our seat already came attached to the seat post. If yours didn't or you need to adjust it for any reason, just go ahead and take the Allen wrench and loosen, tighten that screw right there as needed to get everything in place. And it's really easy to finish the assembly of the bike here. Seat post goes in. You loosen that to uh, get it ready for the seat post. Put the seat post on, tighten it back up, uh, push the lever into place towards the front of the bike. Uh, you're in good shape. Now comes the rear reflector, and I'll tell you right away, this was the hardest part of the assembly. Uh, it really seems like it shouldn't be so hard, but it kind of was. So we're using the Phillips screwdriver of that uh, tool set there and removing a screw that is threaded into a hexagonal nut. The plastic mold of the reflector is shaped for that hexagonal nut to fit in there just right. 
Uh, but the problem that you'll see in a minute is that it didn't thread back in. Um, but first, before you get to that step, you want to take that uh, protector there, that uh, that uh, piece with the uh, that goes around the ring, and notice where the rim is, kind of the edge of that. Uh, that's how you know it's uh, it's in there the right way. Uh, so that goes around the seat post. Then notice the direction of the reflector itself, and this is where that screw goes in, and it's supposed to thread into the nut on the other side. I tell you what, we spent about 10 minutes and just could not get that thing to thread. We adjusted this way, that way, the other, everything. It would only thread when it was out of the reflector piece, uh, out of the mold. So just the two pieces by themselves, they would thread, but once they went through the plastic molding for the reflector uh, setup, then they just wouldn't thread. So. In fact, we put the screw in, not threaded, and after a couple weeks of riding the bike, it's still in place. So we're kind of okay with it because it's a fairly secure fit. But yeah, unfortunately, we just couldn't get that thing to thread. But anyway, once uh, you have that on, then you can go ahead and push the reflector itself up into position. And there's another screw, notice the location of that and that same Phillips screwdriver, uh, that screw can be tightened then to hold that reflector up into the uh, right direction. Similar idea for the front, front reflector. Go ahead and choose your spot on the handlebar where you put that. That one did thread easily for us, unlike the rear reflector. And then once it's at the angle you like, go ahead and tighten it up. Attached to the front handlebar wires there are the keys for the electric battery. So cut those off, get the key, unlock it, pull the cover off. The battery itself, you just slide down, downward angle, and it detaches. And then you grab your charger. Notice the sequence in which you connect things. You want the charger to be connected to the battery first, and then you plug it into the wall. You'll have a red light when it's charging that will turn green when it's fully charged. And then you want to unplug from the wall first and then unplug from the battery. Then the battery goes back into place. The cover goes back into place. You can lock it with the key. And there's that little cover there that you can close. Let's take a closer look just so you know what that's there for is so that you can actually charge the battery without removing it from the bike. So you just plug in the charger there and you can fully charge. So there you go. Hope you liked this video. Hope it was helpful in the assembly and give us a uh, like and subscribe if you will please, and a comment below on uh, what you think of this bike.